So I'm in the city of Varanasi, the holiest city in Hinduism. Yes, and it's crazy out here. Absolutely insane. The, the street scene is like nothing I've ever seen before. I was just in Mumbai. <laughs> it just doesn't compare. There's so much noise. Hello, sir. <laughs> so it's just absolutely crazy. I'm uh, super bummed. I can feel the electricity in the air. So right, right now, uh, we have a festival going on, right? Yeah, that's Kumamela Festival. Kumamela Festival. And this festival starts in like January. Yeah, 6th of January. 6th of January and it goes to the uh, 4th, of March. 4th of March. So it's just crazy bustling with sounds and people and everything. It's absolutely insane over here. Wow, it's just crazy. Okay, so first off, we're gonna check out this building right here. This, this is a historic Maharaja building, right? Varanasi Maharaja. Varanasi Maharaja. So here we go. People are curious. It's crazy, whoa. All right, so my guy for the day, his name is Tinku, and he hangs around here. He offered to take me on a tour. We had a conversation for like an hour yesterday, so he sounds like a smart guy. He knows what he's talking about, so I said, why not? Wow, check out the scene over here. <laughs> Look at all these uh, cows and bulls, just like that. And you can see just how quiet <laughs> it gets. If you compare from outside <laughs> to inside. Wow, it's so quiet here. This is amazing. Now I have to show you this. Wow, check this out. This is amazing. So what do we call this temple again? Okay. Okay, so the temple of Shiva's wife. Parvati, oh yeah, Parvati temple. Okay. From, from okay. But they built this Parvati temple inside to the old town area okay. for religious people to pray inside every morning. It's, was his name Maharaja or? Maharaja is a, right, like a king title, of Baranasi. Right? King of Baranasi, okay. When, do you know when this was built? This building built by about 400 years ago. 400 years ago, okay. Wow, this is amazing. So built by the Varanasi Maharaja that lived some seven kilometers from here for the local people to have a place of worship, and it's something. It's very beautiful. And it's made out of stone? Only stones. Because in, when I go inside to the door, yes. inside to the floors, yes. before I remove my shoes, okay. then go by step or near to the God, I leave my head and I take blessing of Mother Goddess. Okay. So when you came in the morning here, yes. you see this door yeah, it will open. be open and curtain it will be one side and one by one people go inside with flower with the water of river. Okay. With this they pray to the our goddess. Okay. Play to Parvati or they pray to the Parvati, the wife of Shiva. Okay, so you have to take your shoes off, of course. My bad. See all the carvings. The picture here with a cat. Ah, okay, yes. He already died, so that way people just make friend and they make picture and put him here in this place. Ah, okay, okay. And they, this is also open in the morning. And you see this symbol here? Yes. This is the symbol of Shiva. Okay, the the symbol on. Yeah, all of them because top of them there is a flower. So these are my God Shiva, God Shiva. So I offer him flower every morning. Oh, okay. And name of this symbol Shiva Lingam. Shiva Lingam. Yes. In 300,000 Lingam like this you can see in whole Varanasi. Oh, so, so this is called the Shiva Lingam. Shiva Lingam. So. Shiva Lingam basically is uh, because it represents uh, both the male and the female. So in this case, it would be Shiva and Parvati, his wife. So this is, it's kind of like a symbol for both of them. Yes. That's right. And people come here every morning and they leave flowers? 
water of river they take water of the river in the pot okay and take water flower. of the ganges yes and offering the water of ganges in the top of the lingam because shiva love water from the ganges oh. that was morning in pray time people offering them ganges water of the river oh, okay. after they put flower they burn incense or they burn candle of fire okay and they sit near the lingam and make meditation make penance pray wow very nice this is the statue of the bull flowers it's statue of the bull and the bull represents bull is the evidence of shiva shiva yes bull is the friend of shiva okay so shiva always sit on the top of the bull and shiva if you want to go anywhere they sit on the bull and they go by bull where they want to go oh okay so bull is not real name of this animal in hindu religion by a spiritual word I say Nandi. 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 Okay. So it's not a real bull. Not a real bull, but when you go normally in the temple of Shiva, you can see the statue of the bull in Shiva temple. Okay. So I respect him and I pray him like a Shiva. Oh, okay. So if I have any wish, I'm not going to say directly to the Shiva. I pray first to the Shiva and after I come close to the bull and I speak my wish in Nandi here. Okay. And later Nandi give message to the Shiva. Ah, uh, he's like a messenger. Yes, messenger, yes. The bull is the messenger of uh, of Shiva. And I love uh, I love like these carvings. Beautiful. On, on the columns, that is just incredible. So you can see how beautiful those carvings are. I guess that represents the stupa. Yeah, that represents the stupa. Yes. This is stupa of Parvati. The stupa of Parvati. Okay, stupa. Holy cow. Holy cows. And we have of course some bulls here, I guess. Like a restaurant also here. Oh okay, they have a restaurant. People come to chill out here. Oh okay, okay, okay. With energy of temple. Right. I would have never guessed that something so peaceful would be found just on the back of that, you heard the sounds there, that is crazy out there. And you hear how peaceful it is here. There's like a world of a difference. describe this mass wave of traffic is just you go with the flow you just you don't try too hard to push ahead try a little bit but you just the wave eventually moves and that's just the way it is Whoa. <laughs> this is just crazy so we're here for uh Pomomela. hello you want to say hi hi sir all uh, right are you yeah. from varanasi uh, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so it's just crazy in here. Woo! We're just getting a huge whiff of, uh, of gas. And just look at that. Motorcycle and feet kind of just uh, sharing the same, the same road there. Oh, and we have, uh, I've heard about this. What do we call this? Malayo. How do you say it? Malayo. Malayo. It's like a very creamy, oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Put some pistachios. Wanna try? Okay, let's try. Okay. Uh, All right, sir. So thank you. So, so we call this malayo. Malayo, yes. Okay, and what is malayo? Malayo is uh, made from the milk. Okay, it's made from the milk. Yes. So I think we can see that there's some. Uh, Back what I said. It's not always so peaceful. 
Does that happen often? People get into fights? It's not often because now too many people is come from Kumamela. Yeah. So they don't get the way to go out. So that way they are sometimes aggressive. No, right, right. There's just too many people right now. All right, guys. So Malayo. So this thing is like, uh, it's like a creamy kind of mixture. Hi. It's like a creamy mixture. It's just absolute chaos here. Super creamy mixture. Yeah, look at that. It's super creamy. It's foamy. Wow, let's let's take a bite of that. Ooh, wow. That's that's super foamy. It's like foam. With basically it's like a Sweden milk foam with a, with a decent amount of cardamom. And they put some pistachios and some almonds in there. We just gotta find the spot here because it's just too crazy. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's 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 very light. It's basically like a milk foam. Almost reminds me of that kind of milk foam you get you find on a cappuccino at the top, but very sweet, very, very fragrant. Like those pistachios and uh, a bit of almonds in there. Wow. <laughs> no, this is how you do it here. <laughs> and there's a huge lineup just waiting to get by. This is insanity. So we have the foam at the top, and at the bottom, it's kind of more liquidy. Like when that foam kind of settles, it settles into a liquid at the bottom. Mm. That's so sweet. Mm. Wow, that is, that is beautiful. That's kind of like a foam custard. Very nice. Very nice. All right, thank you, sir. That was very good. Hi. <laughs> very nice. What a refreshing little snack. And that uh, is supposed to clean your stomach. So what we have here behind me, we see there's a crazy line of people. I don't know if we can see that. Those are all pilgrims. They're waiting to get inside the golden temple. So you can see that they have these bamboo, these two bamboo shoots on the sidewalk. I just push your head through it. So they have these, whoa, sorry guys. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> all right, this is how it's done. <laughs> you want a photo? Hello. As I was saying, they have like these, uh, this kind of like little path or passage uh, with two bamboo shoots where people are walking, where they're actually not walking, they're just waiting in line there nonstop. So those are all pilgrims and they're all waiting to go to the Golden Temple, which is about a 20 minute walk. But if you're waiting in that line, if you're waiting in that traffic, that's more like a three hour wait. So that's crazy. But all those people are all pilgrims. It's just insanity in here. Wow. Hello? For safety reasons, I think it's a good idea to put my backpack in the front because, well, there's just too many people, so better to be safe than sorry. All right, so that's the process. This is the finished product right here. Wow, this looks like a, like a banana smoothie at the top, but I think it's gonna taste a little more differently than that. Hello, sir. All right, let's give it a shot. Mmm, whoa, that's so good. That's like milky and orangey. Whoa, and kind of frothy, a little bit. Now, is this pure bamboo juice? Pure bamboo juice. With pure. the lemon, with the lemon. Okay, okay, so there, there's a bit of lemon that they put inside. Well, oh, that's really nice. It is. Very good for uh, digestion and very good for stomach. Wow, that's so good. And very good for blood. 
For what? For blood? For yeah, blood. Okay. Well, I, lo I love this process. They're, they're basically using like an old motor here. It's basically like a car engine that's just like, you know, just crushing that bamboo and, and just squeezing out the juices. This is just crazy. Oh yeah, you can see the lemon. Yeah, the lemon on the outside. That is just so good. That little hint of lemon just gives it this kind of like citrusy taste. And that just kind of like balances so well with the, with the milkiness and the frothness of the bamboo. I never knew bamboo was so milky. It's so milky. Yeah, it's so milky because it's come from the earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so milky and creamy. They, grew, they keep a lot of cool stomach. Uh-huh. Well, I just downed that. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Awesome. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, there he goes again. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> just crazy. Wow. And where are they going here? They're going to the temple. They're going to the temple. This is the place where they buy the tickets. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. So all pilgrims waiting to buy a ticket to go see the temple. Right there. Right here at the uh, Prasad counter, it says. If they buy the ticket, they go be without line. Without line? Oh, okay, so, so they wait to buy the tickets, okay. All right, so. You can wait to buy a ticket there, and then you don't have to wait in the line. Sounds like a, probably a good idea. Because that line, that line is like Bangkok traffic at peak time. What is the worst traffic in the world? I think it's Bangkok, so that's, that's what that line looks like of pilgrims. I'm just getting kicked by these uh, little spurs of uh, bicycle uh, Exhaust. This is all the flowers. Okay, okay. Taking my chances here. Forgot my rabies shots. <laughs> this is not smart. Sorry guys, I don't have any food for you. I'm sorry guys. We're back outside the, the flower market. We're walking back and you can see these people here. These are all the pilgrims, all waiting patiently to go see the Golden Temple. And uh, you can see that light is just not moving at all. <laughs> Hi. All right, so we're walking in this alley and we just came across this huge, beautiful yellow house. And uh, you can see at the, by the door, they have like this kind of like engraving of Ganesha, who is the son of uh, Shiva. So basically a lot of people have his statue or his engraving by the door for good luck because he is the luckiest of all the gods, yes. right? And also it prevents the black energy from entering the house. So this basically is a very religious house inside. Very religious, yes. And right next, to, right next to the house in front of it, they have a little stupa here. So basically another uh, area for prayer. So very nice. Samosa? Samosa. Samosa. Wow. 
When when is it gonna be ready? When is it gonna be ready? Soon. Is this a good stand? Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh. Yeah, so what do we have here? So we have, this is chat. Okay, so can can, uh, can you explain to us a bit what chat is? Chat is made by the potato. Okay. And there is a, this is all a spicy kind of food. Okay. This is very delicious and very famous food from Varanasi. Okay. It's street food. Which one is the chat? This is the chat. This is the chat. So it's like... Okay, so this, all of this goes inside? Yes. The, the chat. Oh, okay, okay. And this is the chutney here? This is chutney? And that's like uh, water. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is a chat. Wow. Right there. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, so here we have we have the potato chat. So the potato chat, to me, it looks like, a, it almost looks like a potato dumpling because it's so soft and you see. You saw that technique, kind of how like he stretches it out uh, before he puts it on the giant. It's, it's kind of like a giant wok or a giant pan. And uh, you know, so uh, here we have the potato chat, and uh, this one comes. <laughs> this one comes with. Uh, it comes with a red chutney, which is like a. Uh, I guess it's like a tomato and sugar chutney. And then we have some yogurt in here, and we have like kind of like this kind of like crisp crumble in there. And here you have uh, you have the chat, which looks beautiful, beautifully golden brown. Oh, oh, you get you get that strong whiff of potato. Oh yeah. So here, let me cut off a piece of that potato chat and here let's dig in oh wow oh you get you get a bit of coriander in there too oh my god okay let's dig in mm. Mm. oh wow well it's so potatoey wow and it's kind of like a giant gnocchi. It's super potatoey. I thought it was gonna be a little doughy, but wow, it's super potatoey. There's some garam masala in there. Oh, for sure, it's 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 slightly peppery. There's some garam masala in there for sure. Oh, and it has a bit of a kick. Oh yeah, I think there's some. Uh, I think there's some green chilies in there. Mmm. And I was told those are green chilies. It definitely kicks you a little bit. So this is the potato chat. And look, let's let's take a look here so we can maybe see the mixture on the inside. So we can see it's kind of like very ground, like very finely ground potato with some with some spices, garam masala, tamarind, some green chilies, and of course we mix it with that uh, tomato chutney, which is which is not overly sweet. But uh, it is it is sweet. Uh, it's kind of like a sweet sauce. It kind of balances the uh, that green pepper, which, which gives quite a kick. I gotta say. Is there egg in there at all? No. No, no egg. Pure vegetarian. Pure vegetarian. Pure veg. No egg. No no animal products in there. Besides maybe in the yogurt. I just the yogurt. Yeah, just the yogurt. And there's some. Uh, you can see the cumin seeds in there. That was awesome. Thank you. There we go. Uh, Keep the change, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's fine. No, no. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye bye. It was great. Bye. Great. All right. So, only 15 rupees for that shot. That is, uh, honestly, uh, it's uh, because it's potato, it could be a little filling. So, that. 
that potato chuck kind of reminded me of like a, a Russian Vereniki dumpling. It was, uh, it had that same similar kind of texture, kind of very soft, just slightly chewy, but obviously with a world of a difference in terms of spices, much spicier, much more fragrant than what you would get in a Vereniki. So we are continuing on this alley. These small alleys are, are super charming. This feels like you're stepping back in time to some four or five hundred years if not longer yes a bit of ganesha a bit of fish oh yes get keeper this is symbolizer of uh, happiness happiness yeah when people get married or some yes. children born that time people make carving on the wall okay it's a symbol of good luck of good luck oh this is a tall building right right rubbish oh okay King of sitar. Oh, a sitar. Sitar right. and tabla. Yeah. Tabla is like, like a, a guitar. Like right? a guitar, yes. Varanasi is very famous for Indian classical music. Oh, yes. This is like the classical city in India. Yeah, it is the classical city. The holy cows. Holy cows. Yeah, there's a cow. People also coming to pray here also. Okay. So this is Lord Shiva? No, this is Lord Shiva wife. Uh, Parvati. Parvati. Durga, this is the Durga temple. Dur Durga? Durga, this is the popular of the Hindu. It's popular. The most then of the ladies temple. Okay. The Hindu culture. Yes. The Durga Ma. I call Ma. Ma means like the mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Bully the word the woman. Right. And request so much that word. Right. This is the part of the Shiva also. Right. This is Parvati temple. This is, I call many names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? Because ladies, we have a thousand names. Right. Durga, Kali, Lakshmi, that is the all one Parvati. Oh, okay. Same like the Shiva. Right. I call right. it Krishna, Radha, Vishnu, Brahma. One god is called Shiva. Right, right, right. So this is the minister. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Real carnation. Thank right. you. Thank Namaskar. You. Thank you. Thank you. See the lady here. They are praying here. This is all very old statue of Ma, of Mother. And the middle there is Ganesha with orange. And you see some card top of the temple. This is limitation card. Maybe someone get married, fixed marriage. With one house, one family to one family. So first limitation they are giving to the temple, to the god. Oh, they're inviting the temple into yes, the yes. into the wedding. And after that they are going to give to the relative, to the friend. First to the god. The first to the god. Wow, look at that. There is a picture on the top of the card. There is a picture of Ganesha and Krishna. Okay. And after that, there is the name of the man and there is the name of the lady who they are going to marry. No, oh, okay.